a friend of mine asked me a couple of weeks back um, if I could make like an art installation for her office. She brought me this retro phone. This is actually the type of phone that I had in my home growing up uh, back in the 90s, I'd guess. The idea for this art installation was that whenever someone picked up the phone, we would play some audio from the speakers inside of the phone. I thought this sounded like a really fun project. Um, so I took it on myself to make this happen. I figured I'll shoot this entire process and create a video about it. I got a bit stuck and I would work on the project a night and I got a little bit further to a solution and all of a sudden the project was done and I'd kind of forgotten to shoot any of it, which bummed me out a little bit, um, but I figured I could just do it again because it was kind of a fun project. So this is the phone that my friend brought me, but I bought another one. My friends over at Arduino.cc, they'd been nice enough to send me one of their new boards, the Arduino Nano 33 IoT. And one of the many awesome things about this board is that it has Wi-Fi. Um, so I was thinking if I were to do this project again, what could I kind of change in order to incorporate some Wi-Fi and make it even more interesting. And while we're on the subject of these old kind of retro phones, I remembered a service we used to have back in Sweden, I think we still do. 17, 8 and 30. Cool. You call the number and uh, it will just read the current time. And I figured, why not have a phone that always does that, but without having to call someone, I don't know, pick it up and it will spell the time. So that's the product I decided to go with for my kind of updated version off of the first project. All right, let's get started and hack some old tech. The first thing you probably want to do when dealing with old secondhand things like this is to clean it. So I disassembled the whole thing and washed each part. The two things we want to interface with on the phone is the speaker and the ability to detect when the phone is being picked up. This mechanism is what we'll exploit in order for us to know when to start playing in the speakers. When the phone is picked up, two pins here will connect and by soldering on some wires, we can use it just as any other button. Arduino sent me two boards to try out, the more simple Nano Every and the Nano 33 IoT that comes with Beely 4.2 and Wi-Fi. For this project I'll be using the IoT model, where the Wi-Fi capability will let me get a hold of the current time. To play audio files I'm using a DF Player Mini. This incredible little circuit lets you pop in an SD card with audio files and then play them back through a speaker. Then I sat down and recorded myself saying everything that I wanted a clock phone to be able to say. Alright, let's see if we can do this in one go. Let's see, I have my sheet sheet. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Four on seventy nine and that third fourteen eight nine nine eight thirty three fifty. Oh, the current time is the current time is it's better. I cut out each recording of me saying numbers and so on and saved them as individual MP3 files. I wrote a script that took these files and transferred them over to the SD card in the right order and with the correct file name. When I verified that everything worked as expected, I started moving the circuit over from the breadboard onto a prototyping board. I'd recommend always using female pin headers rather than soldering your microcontrollers directly to the board. This will allow you to more easily reuse the components in future projects.
time is 42 minute past 10. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, you know what to do. See you next time.